Hi fellow Django developers, Azakaya here from alwaysdjango.com where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you grow, improve as a Django developer. If that sounds interesting, like, subscribe, share this video with anyone you feel or find this video important. Let's get into it. So today we are going to discuss how to deploy your Django application to railway, right? In the last tutorial, we looked at how to render static files, right? And if you have been following this playlist, we said, I said, that will be deploying this application to Heroku, right? So it's happened that <clears throat> between when I recorded the first couple of videos and now that I'm recording this one, a lot of things have, a lot of water has gone under the bridge and Heroku, lots of resources in Heroku are now paid, right? So I thought it wise to teach how to deploy to railway since it's probably more beginner friendly, right? So we'll look at how to deploy your Django application to railway, right? So <clears throat> to deploy application to railway, you have to have two, two accounts, like right? two website accounts, right? So the first one is, um, first one is GitHub. Let's open GitHub. So the first one is GitHub, right? Then the second one is obviously railway. So go to railway.app, create your project, create your account, then connect your github account to it and get started right so to deploy your project you need first of all you need to create three three um, files in your root file yeah in your project root file root folder right so the first one is proc file right so we say proc file right proc file let me increase my screen so proc file so proc file right with the P R O C F I L E, right? With the P capital. I'll leave it in the description, right? So no extension, just P R O C F I L E with the P capital, right? So this proc file, if you have deployed to Heroku, you also know that you need this proc file, right? You, you need the three files, the proc file, the runtime.txt, the requirement.txt. You need the three of them, right? To also deploy to Heroku. So railway is just a, an alternative to Heroku. Right, so in this proc file, I have a note here, so I copy this, come here and paste. Right, so if you paste this, I'll leave this string, I'll leave this this code or string or command in the description. Right, so you can just go there, copy it. Then here you have green investment. When I paste it, you might see app name. You might see something like app name, right, in the description. Right, so here that you have your app name, I expect you to change it to your app name. Right, so for your project name right so for this tutorial our project my project name is complete django beginner right that's the project name right for you it can be anything right so you can you change that to your project name to know your project name just the name of the file the folder that contains your settings.py file right that's your project name that folder that contains your settings.py file the name of that folder right so that's your set that's your project name now the second thing is your is your run time dot txt right runtime r u u n t i m e arrow everything lowercase right dot txt this is a text file so dot txt extension so the runtime dot txt extension is used to the runtime dot txt file is used to tell um railway which python version to use for your project right so how do you get your python version you open your terminal like i just did right so you open your terminal if it opens hopefully this opens i don't know why it's wasting time so if you open your terminal let me open command front here you write you write python dash dash version so you say python dash dash fashion version right if i'm right so python dash dash version it will bring out your python version here you can, you can see mine is 3.10.5 right so you copy your python version the number you copy 3.10.5 you come here python right hyphen the version right without no space right there is there should be no space here you say python dash 3. Point, that python dash your python version right then the next thing would be requirement.txt right so in your requirement.txt that's where you have all the packages that should run for this project right all the packages all the your django and um, package your um, django crispy form your um django social or all the packages that you need to run your maybe you are using django rest framework etc 
right for for this tutorial we just have we just need three three packages the first one is django obviously second one is django crispy form which we use to style our form the third one is g unicorn right which i forget to i forgot to mention here so here you see this g unicorn is a python is a python um, package right so we have to install it it's used to run our server right so g unicorn right here right so um to get your requirement.txt what you do is pip freeze greater than sign then requirement requirements.txt right so let me make this bigger requirement.txt this command here so this is what you write um pip freeze greater than sign requirement.txt so what does the command do this command will simply take all the packages that are needed for your project to run take all of them and put all the packages with their version with their matching version in your requirement.txt file right which is what we are trying to achieve right so but if i run this command now because we are not using a virtual environment for this project if i run this command if i run this command it will simply take all the packages on my system which is very wrong and my bad guys i'm very wrong by doing this by not using a virtual environment for this project my bad i'm very sorry please forgive me right so we delete this i don't advise this you delete this whenever you create a django project make sure you use um make sure you use a virtual environment right so we have a tutorial on the playlist i will make very good sure that i'll leave that tutorial on the playlist please forgive me for not using the virtual environment i'm very sorry i'm very 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 sorry right so let me spin up a virtual environment really quickly python dash m tmv right because i'm using python 3 python 3 version so you can see that our virtual environment has been created here this vmv um, file right so if we create the virtual environment we activate it install the packages that we need and we continue from there right so <clears throat> so this is taking a little bit of time right so while we are waiting for that let's close this requirement TST, close this so let me make this smaller let me make this smaller so let's just let's just bring this down let's just bring this down let me close this file so let's make this smaller so in your settings of pure file there are also a couple of changes you have to make right so the first one is your static root right so your static root simply your static root is simply the directory yeah the directory where you want you want your um your static files to be loaded from on your production server right so static files right so in the last tutorial we looked at working with static files in django right so it so happens that this setting right here right will work when you are de when you are developing right when you are developing django will use this setting and load your static files from this place right so but on production you but when you want to deploy make sure you set this setting right here yeah, then specify the folder where you want your static files to live right so when you deploy to railway while railway is spinning up your application when, while railway is getting your application on it will it will carry your it will get your static files here your css javascript image files and dump all of them here right dump all of them in this static files folder right so that will be that will work on production right so after that if we go up we see allowed host right allow those is simply a list you can see right here is a python list is a list that contains all the domain names where your project will run right so if you if you are so why we this is empty and our project is still able to serve from the local host is because this debug is true right when debug is true it means we are in development environment when debug is false it means we are in production so we are in development right now that's why this is empty and we are still able to serve our project but when you are deploying like real quick let's just change this when you are deploying you have to change the bug to false right then in the allowed host you have to add list of hosts where your project will run right for instance you have local host so 127.0.0.1 right that's one of them right but for for um for railway right so let's check this i think this is done our virtual environment has been created right so the next thing let's activate it quickly scripts activate right so after activating let's install the packages we need you said we need django pip install django 
right Django crispy crispy forms crispy forms and G unicorn right which is what we need for our project to work on on railway right this we use to run our server on railway to spin up our server on railway right so let's allow that to continue running let's get back to what we are saying so right here in the allowed host list right you put star right this will simply allow all the host every host to be able to serve up our application right so this is important because on railway railway we get you a custom domain name right a custom domain name while it's generating the application while it's spinning it's spinning it up right railway we get that custom domain name so you want to put this star so that that domain name that will be generated will be able to run your application right so that's it for that we have state our static roots file we have state our static root and um, variable we have, we have changed the bug to false right we have changed the bug to false and um, allowed host right so after that what do we have to do we have to push we have to create a github repository and we have to also create a github repository and then push our application our code to that github repository and continue from there so before then let's create the requirement.ts file so because we have we have activated the virtual environment so this if we run pip freeze requirements.txt so if we run this right now it will only have the packages that are in our virtual environment you can see here it's now smaller we now have only Unicorn, django um crispy forms and some helper packages right so that is that that is done right so the next thing would be um we have we already have a github repository for this project right so let me just git add right if you don't know about git i have we have a crash course let me close this so let me create my git ignore file you know about git ignore file we don't want to push this virtual environment to the to the git to the git repository right we don't want to push this uh right, that's we don't want to push this right so if we create dot git ignore dot git ignore right so we want to add this vmv so we come here we say slash vmv right so so we are omitting this folder right here this will not be pushed this will not be worked with when we are pushing our file to git repository if you don't know about how to git use git and github there is a crash course in this tutorial i'll leave a link to it in the, the description so that i can look at it so we say git add right after git adding we say git commit let's say git commit the message will be deployment to railway right so after deploying then we say git push um origin right i have the git branch here which is which is deployment to i made a mistake to call it heroku but who cares so it seems that was wrong git push origin deployment let me make this smaller so that i can be able to see it deployment to heroku to heroku so if we have this we we'll see this simply pushes our code pushes our code to this github repository right our complete beginner github repository so it will push it here it will push our code here but because you are learning from you are learning as a beginner you might not have your github repository so i'll teach you how to create a github repository push your code to that github repository and continue from there so if you come here if you have a github account if you come here to the top left corner right you see this plus icon right so if you see this plus icon if you click on it it you see new repository you click on new repository now to ask for the repository name let's see deployment of django project project to um railway on youtube right such a long name but who cares let's continue so let me leave this as public you can i will also leave a link to this to a link to this um repository in the description if you want now i leave it public add read me file add this add this i don't really have i don't really need those so click on create repository 
right so we wait a bit so our repository has been created so what do we want to do we want to simply push this code to our repository right so we copy this repository link here which is given here so we'll click here to copy it and i come over to this place i say let me clear the screen so i say git push this right then to um git push this to this right so because we, we want to push this right i just tried it and it gave me error. so we want to push this to to github right but on railway railway we expect a branch called master and we don't have the master branch here so let's create a master branch we say git um git um branch git branch master right so we create a master branch after creating the master branch we want to check out to the master branch let's git add and git commit to make sure everything is committed let's add any message here so we say git check out check out master right so if you say git check out master our code will not be in the master branch so we cannot push our code to the master branch so we say git push this right to master right so we git push our application to our repository on the master branch right because right away we look for this master branch to deploy our application right so fingers crossed hopefully this goes successfully so if we come here and refresh so hopefully we see our source code here right so this is our source code right so we have set up our application to work we have pushed to github the next thing is running the application to create the application on railway right so create a railway account connect your github and and get to this point right so we say new application right so new application we say configure with github it's asking for my github authentication i say this right so real quick real quick real quick it's asking for permission so this is simply how you allow access so let me make this smaller as it should be a space for confirm right so that should be it uh, that should be it hopefully let me just refresh this so deploy to github it's asking for the github repository right now so the name of the github repository it should be deploy let me make this bigger deploy to railway so deploy to railway so if you come here and start searching deploy right so you can see deployment to railway so i click on this i click deploy now so hopefully fingers crossed it starts our deployment process so you can see our deployment process has been started here so i don't know how long it will take hopefully two minutes three minutes barely right so for now i'll just pause the video and i'll continue when the deployment is done so that i'll continue this to so you can see here that our application is running right now i've not even checked it on the browser to see whether it's running or not i've not really checked it on the browser so but our application hopefully has been deployed if you check here it said um deployment it has been deployed right so if you click here on the browser you can see our application has been served successfully right so this is it for me guys i think railway is awesome i think you should check it out right so this is it for me guys in the next tutorial we'll be rounding up we'll be rounding up and um, the the playlist if you have made it to this point i'm saying kudos subscribe like the video share with anyone you find it that will find it important take care of yourself peace